All right, folks, so I ordered this uh, Dell Gaming PC. I think this is an 8020 RTX 5000. I thought I'd be playing some video games, but no. They sent it to me in an inadequate box, what she said. And, um, yeah, everything not so good. This isn't enough room to pack stuff with there, uh, eBay. So I don't think this is the seller. I think this is eBay International selling or eBay International shipping. Seller sells it. They box it, box it up, sends it over to eBay International selling. They rebox it. These guys just put it in two boxes with what, that? With that? That, this guy had over 9,000. It's over 9,000! No way anyone with over 9,000 uh, like that. Hey, that did come with a hard drive. Let me, let, let me, oh, that architecture is just beautiful. Look how that flows. It's wonderful. You, however, Charlie Brown, you is well and far from home. Let's see if I can plug it in and get it work. It lives. Hooray! But for how long? Time to give it some paces. Okay, I got the original video card back in there. Let's see how she does pass mark benchmark. Quadro RTX 5000 going at about 52 frames per second. I was kind of expecting more than that, but uh, here we got, wow, DirectX 10 really taking off, 124 frames per second. Okay, okay, um, yeah, good job, good job. DirectX 11 rocking out 161 frames per second with the space jellyfish all grooving out in space and looking really good. I gotta say, no problems, my guys. DirectX 12 taking off unbelievably capably. 113 frames per second. Not bad considering the damage that this unit took. I gotta say, this says a lot about Dell's ability to take a licking and keep on ticking, seriously. Not bad for a system I thought was totally destroyed in shipping. Not bad at all.